Hey everyone and welcome to Darksiders 2, the Definitive Edition, the Definitive Difficulty Walkthrough. Uh, once again we are on another optional optional boss. This is Bather and you only get to access uh, this boss when you get the death grip. So that's really important. And you're going to see the technique that I use on this uh, optional boss. Actually if you have uh, some weapon that uses uh, a form of ice attack you should bring it here because as you can notice uh, she is a huge uh, bat caught on fire so of course she's weak to ice so but I didn't I, I, I had a, a nice hammer at some point but I destroyed it or used it for uh, fusioning weapons or something I don't know as I'm going to fall uh, and you're going to see me kind of discover the strategy that I'm going to recommend now Bathier always uh, vomits the, this entire platform and the moment the vomit does uh, a lot of damage in this difficulty it can actually kill you like straight away now I am level 10 and Bay Theory is level 15 so the difference is a factor uh, so but the, the once again the strategy that I'm going to use it, it, it just can be used even on lower difficulty it just depends that you don't get vomit on it and it's basically using the teleport dash of the harbinger when she vomits the, the platform see you can always run away from the platform uh, but see this happens she can hit you with the tail as well but I'm going to start using the, the strategy uh, I, 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 I didn't read it anywhere and I didn't uh, if I just find it for myself but I'm sure it's around like a million years ago but you just shoot her like I'm doing here uh, to, to gain wrath and then you kinda do the teleport dash when she when she's going to vomit if she charges you like that you better get the fuck off the platform you can use you can actually jump out the platform and, and, and jump to the lava and it's not gonna hurt you as much as she will hurt you in an attack so that can be a strategy actually, I'm just thinking about it right now, but that feels kinda cheap, but that's, that's probably the reason I didn't do it. But you basically shoot her and when she uh, is going to vomit, you use the... see don't stay on her back. When she's going to vomit, you use teleport dash to get uh, to her back and quickly move uh, away from her. But, because she's going to try to hit you with her tail and it's hard to to evade it see right there that's the strategy that I'm going to start using when she vomits go to her and use the teleport dash the teleport dash that's going to put you on her back of course you have to regain a wrath so you have to shoot her see when she's uh, walking towards you like this she's just going to melee you and she hits really hard so don't get, don't stay uh, around her for that. Don't straight melee uh, attack her. See, and this is a fucking mistake because this almost kills me because she was too far away from me. So don't start, don't don't stand really far away as I'm doing here. Uh, try to rush her. Try to always rush her and use teleport dash. Now, if you don't have teleport dash because you went with a full uh, summoner kind of. Uh, Character, I will say get uh, to this boss at a level 15 or level even 20. See, right there. And you can actually uh, hit his her tail, and that takes a lot of damage from her. But again, she hits you with her tail, so if you can dodge that, that's great. But I couldn't, so this is my strategy as I'm building a harbinger uh, build. I'm going to go with strategies from a Harbinger build. See, that's, that's the melee hit. I don't care much about that because the only thing that I want to do is use a teleport dash. Now I have the, the other attack, uh, the, I think the other skill that actually gives me more uh, criticals and ups my strength, as you can see there on triangle. And I think I use that sometimes, but only when I have enough wrath. So this is a safe strategy, guys. See, she's going to vomit, teleport dash. 
then there's no issue. I mean, you can hit... Actually, there's a little time to hit her tail with one or two hits. So once again, teleport dash, roll away, and repeat. And this was Bathir, guys. Uh, he was level 10. I think I mentioned this. She's, she's level 15. You might want to wait. And I hope you like it. Um, we'll see each other in part 6 of this uh, incredible game. Thanks for watching and take care.